Hey everyone, it's Kyle. Wow, I can't believe Crisis Core is already over. It's been a good, almost four month run through this thing and now we finally come to its end. A huge thank you to everyone that watched it. I hope you enjoyed it and keep coming back for more. When I first came up with the idea to make a dub of Crisis Core, I hadn't done any voice work at all since Full Metal Abridged, and I just wanted to do something. Uplifted let me as PSP in Crisis Core, and after beating it, I decided, you know what? The Final Fantasy VII Saga would be perfect! We're going in chronological order of the story, um, not the order which the games came out. So after our next project, we'll be debuting our Final Fantasy VII Abridged series. Now, I know Crisis Core wasn't the funniest thing in the world. I mean, it had its funny parts, but it was all on purpose, really. When I was making Crisis Core, I decided I'd make something a little more serious than what we usually do. I wanted to concentrate more on making the dub as authentic looking as possible, rather than making it as hilarious as I possibly could. It took me two months of painstaking work to finish Crisis Core over the summer, and it was completely done by August 25th. After making Crisis Core, I've come to the decision that I'm going to finish every project entirely before I begin uploading on YouTube, so I can keep it going at a steady, predictable rate as I did Crisis Core. I do all the editing work by myself, and it's an excruciating task, so there's no way I'd be able to completely edit a chapter every week. Here's an example, just so you can have an idea of what I have to do. Alright, so here's the original scene in Japanese. Genova Project G は Angel を生み、俺のようなモンスターを作り出した。Genova Project S は S 失敗したあまたのプロジェクトを踏み台に作り出された完璧なるモンスター。俺に何ができる？お前の細胞を開けてくれ。君よ、恋い願え、命育む女神の贈り物を。お前の言葉が、俺を惑わせるためのタワゴとか、それとも。俺が探し求めた真実なのか。どちらにせよ。朽ち果てる。Now here's the scene after I've gone through and removed all of the voices. Now I sync the music to the scene. Then I add the sound of the footsteps. And the squeaks, and finally, I add the voices. Susie Project G used Angel's mother to give birth to myself and other monsters. Susie Project S, though. S. Sephiroth, you are the product of all our failures. Perfection with squeaky feet. What do you want of me? 
I want your Mako inside me. I'm too sexy for my shirt. I'm so sexy. It has! Are you trying to tell me? That my squeaks are the result of a genetic experiment? If that's true, then all I have accomplished in my life amounts to nothing. Take this apple. And go rot with it. That's what the editing is like in every scene, so it really takes a considerable amount of time to finish anything. Well, I don't mean to bore you with my grievances, so I'll just get to the important parts. I want to give a big, extra special thank you to Elder Black Puddin. He played Genesis and had the second most amount of lines only to Zack, and Genesis was not an easy character to play. But he pulled it off fantastically and helped me script more than just one scene. I also want to give a big thank you to Uplift. This is the first time he's ever voice acted before and he did an amazing job. So, a job well done, and I hope you keep working with us in the future, Uplift. And thanks to everyone else that also worked on this project, you guys did an amazing job. Also, a huge thanks to SilentTweak.net for the best, highest quality Crisis Core cutscenes you'll ever find, and, of course, to Square Enix for making the game in all of its awesomeness. And finally, a huge thank you to all of the fans that have kept up with us this entire time. You guys are awesome. So I'd like to give you guys a preview of the next thing we're doing, Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes, starring Uplift as Snake. I'm going to show you a few scenes I've been working on in a second. Thanks again, everyone! I'll show you my moves. On that leg of yours, they won't be impressive moves. You'll need me, not sexually of course, to beat Metal Gear. I don't need you, just your brain. What? It's my brain, you can't have it. Maybe I'll point my gun at you! Contact me by codec after you escape. How do I escape from an island? It's surrounded by water. Yeah, fine. I wish I had a pony. Snake, you remind me of a pony. Just like the boss. No, worse. Yeah. I'm pretty much done now. I read her mind as well. Yeah, and? She really doesn't like cookies. She, like, hates them a lot. Hates cookies? Especially... Ios. <sighs> You're pretty tough. Just like Wolf said, except not sexually. You're the boss's brother, all right. Get milk for my brother. Who else would give his friends helicopter rides? The less elephants to blah blah wasn't a total failure. He could be the very best, like no one ever was. Okay, you're gonna take me to my cell, right? Now let's do it all in one go. It's hard to miss when you're too slow. Not so funny when you're heavily outnumbered. Toss your gun over here. Slowly. You're a fool to come. Back here, I mean. Stupid man. Now, I guess it's my turn to say sweet bondage. You and I are both the last surviving sons of big balls. Can you hear me now? Oh, really? No way. <sighs> Those idiots! Alright, honey. I'll be right there. 